Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This tutorial is all about the shell modifier in 3ds Max. Now, shell modifier is a very exclusive modifier which actually helps you to give a thickness of, on your surface. So, let's see how we can uh, manipulate it and how to use it, uh, use this modifier effectively. So, I have created one single uh, plane over here and uh, I just deleted. Uh, few faces in between it and same I same thing I have done with this sphere I'm just uh, duplicating this so that you can see the differences between these uh, one of them was, will be with the shell modifier and another one will be left alone so select this and go to shell fine the moment you go to a uh, shell switch on the shell modifier you can see that the immediate thickness has been created now by default the outer amount is uh, point uh, by default the outer amount is actually given the value but uh, it's absolutely up to you through which you want to you know uh, give the thickness the inner amount you can increase the inner amount and you can see this uh, so it's actually like an extrusion but not exactly the extrusion is actually happening to the whole entire surface and if you want the outer amount to be increased it's coming out from so immediately you can see the effect of this shell modifier and you can understand it's pretty straightforward the next option is a segment and you can increase or decrease it by default value is one and if you want to be you know increased uh, you can increase the number of segments the next option is a very important option that is called bevel edges now what is the bevel edges actually works and how it actually you know give you some really cool effect I'll just coming up just to, I'm uh, you know covering up first uh, other points over here now these are the material ID override options if you want that different kind of material is uh, to be through the inner side and outside you can switch on the inner material ID and over override the outer material ID and over the override the edge material ID you know what are the edges that extruded portion is called edges and uh, there, there is actually uh, as a, as a, you can override with the material ID is different kind of material ID by these three parts so auto smooth the edges and you can override also override the I know smoothing group so the moment you are actually not out of smooth edges you can override the smoothing group if you have any exist existing smoothing groups you can use them also by switching off this auto smooth edge and also uh, turn on the override edge smooth group, smoothing group so now what is age mapping it's a very interesting one I'm not going very deeply within it as it's a very basics one just uh, an age mapping means if there are a few options you know, copy means it will be absolutely uh, copy the uh, UVW you know the details information from the UVW modifier you actually applied implied it and if you have none then it actually start with the uh, the you know the UV space from zero from zero to one left corner left top corner of your you know um, UVW space and if you hit stripe uh, sorry strip then this is a kind of an offset that we actually you know uh, calculate from the inner side and the outside of, of your uh, UV and the same as the interpolation it will create a, 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 an average value average value of, of the UVs from the outer and inner side edges of this uh, connection so it's not that much uh, I'm not going uh, deep inside it as uh, this is a very basic one and I'm not uh, working on the EVWs and everything so these are the uh, age mapping stuff so you can select the ages through this option you can select the inner faces outer faces and the straight corners if there is any kind of straight corners happening so right now there is no almost there is no straight corners so it will be left alone Okay, so let's back back to the bevel edges. Now this point is a very interesting one. I'm just uh, going to select, uh, uh, switch on the bevel edges, but you won't see any kind of effect right now. Even if I select this 
and also apply the shell modifier fine and switch on the bevel edges but still you cannot find any kind of you know bevel uh, happening in the in the edges it's still flat now the reason is you have to choose a bevel spline now choosing a bevel spline or creating that spline is a very tricky one you have to uh, be very careful about this it's really sometimes misleading how this actually working and which part is going to which part so better it's better go to the top view and create a line let's see now I create a line over in the top view like this fantastic now the thing is that I want to Okay, I want to edit this uh, curve. Fine, and this this is going to be my shape of the uh, edges. So, okay, now select and switch on the none option over here from bevel spline, and just select the uh, line that we have already just created. Now immediately you can see something is happening. Now what is happening over here? It's it's really tough to understand. But you can see the edges are absolutely been covered up according to my curvature. Now that is why I am created this uh, this particular plane so that I can uh, give you a clear view of this. And again, select this. And that's it. So you can uh, you can see. Oops, just switch up the F4 option. Yeah, fine. Oh, uh, slowly zoom in. Okay. Now see the uh, use of this particular uh, curvature. The top part is actually from the top view. If you if you draw this curve from the top view, you have the whichever whatever you draw from the top view the top part of the curve will actually follow the top portion of your uh, edges now as this part is actually flipped up so that's why the our uh, curvature will also flip up now the tricky part and the most interesting part is I still can control this so that means if you don't like your design you can change it at any time any moment the same way it's actually happening over here also so in this through this uh, shell modifier if you if you want your edges to be you know designed through certain uh, pattern or something that you can do easily now uh, the segments you can see that that has been overrided. You cannot control right them right now because that control has been you know overrided by the number of vertices or the number of uh, no, the curvature to, to maintain that curvature. So this is the shell modifier is all about. I hope you understood this and this is you can use this for creating any kind of design and you would want to give a thickness or something and with, with a stylized way that's where you can use this shell my fan so hope you enjoy this please subscribe to our youtube channel and like our facebook page and follow us on twitter thank you very much